Apple is not entering in AI soon. It is the only fang company that is not actively participating in the AI revolution. And that's not by accident or AI talent issue. There are two big reasons for this, both connected to the foundation of the company. And once you understand these two reasons, Apple's entire approach suddenly makes sense. The first reason goes back to vision. Every product, every design, every detail at Apple comes from a vision. When Steve Jobs started Apple, he did not want to just enter the computer market. His goal was to create a personal computer so intuitive that anyone could use it. To put the power and the beauty of the world's most advanced technology in the hands and homes of people just like you and me. He was obsessed with technology that empowered the individual, not technology that overwhelmed them. That vision still lives under Tim Cook today. Apple does not start with competition or marketing. It starts with vision and then builds everything around it. That is why Apple usually arrives late to trends. They were not first with MP3 players. They were not first with smartphones. They were not first with tablets or smartwatches. Yet when Apple entered those categories, they reshaped them completely. They did not copy what was already out there. They redefined the space in a way that made sense for people's lives. That is why Apple is not rushing into AI. A company built on vision does not release something just to say it was first. It waits until the product matches the deeper promise. The second reason is privacy and perfection. Apple takes both as rules, not just slogans. The truth about AI models today is that they are powerful but also flawed. Large language models often make mistakes. They sometimes invent answers that are not real. This problem called hallucination is not something that can be fixed easily. It is still a challenge across the industry. At the same time, these models are trained on huge amounts of data from the internet. Some of that data has been used without permission. This has already caused lawsuits and debates about ownership. For Apple, this creates two problems. First, the accuracy does not match what users expect. Second, the use of so much uncontrolled data does not match Apple's promise of privacy. Launching a chatbot today would risk breaking trust with users. For Apple, that is not an option. So when you put vision together with privacy, the decision makes sense. Apple will not release something half-finished or unsafe just to keep up with competitors. Waiting is not weakness. It is discipline and respect for the foundation on which Apple was built. The first signal is hardware. Apple Silicon was designed from the start for machine learning. Every iPhone and Mac today has a neural engine that can run billions of operations per second directly on the device. That is not just raw performance. It reflects Apple's philosophy. Intelligence should live on your hardware, close to you, not only on distant servers. Running models on device makes them faster, safer, and more personal. It protects privacy because your data does not always need to leave your phone or laptop. On the software side, Apple has already built frameworks like CoreML that allow developers to bring models into apps in an efficient way. They have worked on tools to shrink models so they fit on devices. This gives Apple flexibility. Some tasks can be done locally on the device, while others can be sent to the cloud. Sensitive actions can stay private, while heavier tasks can be balanced with servers. This is Apple's way of building AI in a way that respects both privacy and performance. Then there are the platform moves. Reports suggest Apple has been in talks with companies like Perplexity AI. The idea is that Safari could evolve from simple keyword search to a more conversational form of exploration. That would not be a small update. It would be a fundamental change in how people discover knowledge online. Partnerships like these allow Apple to add intelligence in a controlled way without losing privacy or ownership of the user experience. Put it all together and the picture becomes clear. Apple might look late in the AI race today. In reality, they are building the foundation for a very different approach. 